Today we're uh, doing a hot weather soak evaluation on the Chevy Volt and this is where we park the car out in the parking lot on a hot day and just let it sit here and bake all day long. And uh, Full sun low today, it looks like we're 138 degrees uh, air temperature inside the car. And what this would simulate is uh, a person that was in the parking in a mall or going in to see a movie or whatever, they come back out of the mall, get in the car. We uh, touch everything that's in the car, we uh, uh, cycle all the accessories, look for squeaks and noises that might be present when things are hot and heated up, uh, things that might not be present when uh, the vehicle is a little bit cooler. We are testing the Volt with a towing dynamometer. And this is a, a device that we can hook onto the back of the car and pull it and it simulates climbing a grade uh, just as though you were driving up a mountain grade. And by doing this, we're looking for any overheating conditions that we might see with the car. Uh, we're putting a lot of stress and strain on the vehicle as if it was climbing an endless mountain grade. We're running a trailing dust test on the Volt today. And the trailing dust test, we drive the car behind another car that's kicking up a big plume of dust. By doing this, we can check for any dust intrusion issues that we have inside the car, the door seals, uh, any dust intrusion maybe through the air filter or the other filtration systems in the car, and uh, so that's what we're checking today. I'm Cheryl Clark. I'm a test engineer here at the Desert Proving Ground. We're getting ready to do an RSTP test, Road Schedule Temperature Profile. We measure the pressures and temperatures in the fuel tank to make sure that when they do one of the emissions tests called a shed test in the lab that they are meeting real world pressures and temperatures. They have to match our, our results.